Hello, I'm Courtney. What's up? And today I'm going to be doing my final writing update for Golden Death. So I just uploaded a video of me basically freaking out because I finished writing Golden Death on Thursday. It's literally just like a two minute video of me freaking out and I'll link it down below if you want to go watch it. But Golden Death is indeed done. Like I just said, I finished writing the book on Thursday and I just looked at it for the first time today since I finished it and actually re-edited the last chapter like I said I would in that two minute video. But Golden Death is done and I could not be more satisfied with how the book turned out to be. Now in that video, I explained that I would talk more about the end and how it went down and all that great stuff in this writing update video and so that is what I'm going to be doing today. So Golden Death turned out to be like 108,363 words I want to say which was much longer than I expected. Like my goal for Golden Death was 100,000 words but I wasn't expecting it to be at like 108,000 you know like I was expecting maybe 100, 2,000, 100, 3,000, somewhere around that range, but not 108,000. So that's pretty exciting and it's like 351 pages, so it's a pretty big book. But in this writing update video, I'm mainly just going to be talking about how the end of my book went down and a lot of stuff happened in the end. Like there's like lots of little things, but I'm not going to go by page by page because if I did that, we would be here for a long time, so I'm just going to mainly summarize what happens at the end of my book. So long story short, Dayton, my precious little son, like he's had the most character development. I'm so proud of him. Like he's great in Golden Death. He's wonderful. I love him. But poor Dayton, he is kidnapped by this god named Dark Logs. And Dark Logs, by the way, is a god that I made up. So don't look him up because he's something that I have created. But Dark Logs is the god of nightmares. And you may be wondering, Courtney, why would you do this to him? And it's like, yes, I know. Dayton is a great person. He's so nice. He's so hopeful. He's so full of life. But Dayton's life sucks. He doesn't have a good life. Like, if I had to choose which of my characters has the worst life, I'm honestly going with Dayton's because... Dayton, he has been abused by his sisters, he's neglected by his father, he has a terrible job where his boss is a racist, and he, his mom's dead, the only person who's ever loved him is now dead, and, you know, Dayton his whole entire life has thought that he doesn't have a purpose in his life, like, he doesn't know why he's alive, he doesn't know what he's, he's supposed to do, until he meets Markia and this group of people, and he thinks, Oh, th this is my purpose. I'm going to help market. We're going to find this island and treasure. It's going to be great. But then they go on this journey and a bunch of crazy stuff goes down. And Dayton just doesn't feel like he's belonged with them. And there's one point where Dayton almost commits suicide. Like, that's where he gets to his life, where he wants to kill himself. And Dayton, just throughout the whole entire book, doesn't think he has his purpose. But then Dark Longs shows up. And I know this is terrible, but when Dark Longs starts talking to him, Dayton just kind of starts to think that this is supposed to be his purpose in a way, that he's supposed to go with Dark Longs. And yes, Dark Longs did take Dayton against his will, but Dayton isn't really scared, I guess, to go with him. I obviously feel bad for Dayton because, yes, I literally made him get kidnapped by Dark Longs. Like, that is terrible. Like, this is the god of nightmares we're talking about here. But I feel like I did this at the same time. Like, I'm glad I did this too because I wanted Dayton to have importance. Like, I always felt like he was in the background and I didn't want that because I love Dayton. He's great. And I feel like this, because of this, this will give him importance. And hopefully when I, whenever I write the next book, because this is going to be a series, Dayton, he's going to have an important part. And I'm really excited about that. But besides that, I feel like that was like the biggest thing that happened. I actually take that back. That wasn't the biggest thing that happened. Um, something bigger happened. Two like big things happened. One, Brecken met his real mother. Um, yeah, that happened. And two, Felina finally confessed this big secret of hers, which by the way, 
Writing that scene out was amazing! Now, I'm not gonna go into major spoilers with these two things because I already literally just spoiled pretty much what happened with Dayton. So, I'm only gonna say about Frank's mom that she's a goddess and that with Felina's secret, it has to deal with murder. I'm trying to think what else happened. Oh, I mentioned in my two minute video thing that I would talk about the last chapter of my book and who the chapter is told from. And the chapter is told from a character I don't think I've mentioned in any of these writing update videos, but it's told from good old Fakelo Chapel, who is Brecken's father. Fakelo is in the beginning of the book. He's like in two chapters in the beginning. And then, you know, there's like this huge chunk of the book. And then all of a sudden, Fanklo appears at the end. Uh, Brecken, Brecken's never liked his dad. They have a very bad relationship. And obviously, when Brecken sees Fanklo at the place they're at, Brecken's pretty mad. And, you know, secrets are revealed. Brecken meets his real mother. And it's kind of just all insane. But Fanklo tells the last chapter from Golden Death, which I wasn't plan planning on doing. But then I started thinking of Six of Crows, and if you've read Six of Crows, the last chapter of that book is told from Pekka Rollins, and Golden Death was inspired by Six of Crows, and I was like, what if I do like a Six of Crows end and tell it from like one of the bad guys? So that's why I told it from Fanklo, cause Fanklo's a bad person. So pretty much in this last chapter, Fanklo is talking with Brecken's real mother and they're basically plotting the murder of their own son. Cause especially the mother does not want Brecken alive because if you haven't pieced it together already, Brecken's a demigod and in this universe, demigods aren't supposed to exist. And so literally, these two are just casually talking about killing their son, like it's a regular old topic, like it's crazy. And Fanklo, yes, he's pretty cold hearted, like he doesn't have a heart, like he ruins a lot of people's lives, but in this chapter, he's kind of just like, you know, could I actually kill my son? Like, could I have this blamed on me? Like, could I live my life knowing that I caused my son's death? While Brecken's real mother, on the other hand, is just like, we gotta kill him. Damn God ain't supposed to exist. Like, she does not care. She does not love Brecken at all. Brecken's real mother comes to the conclusion that since Dayton has now been captured by Dark Logs, Dayton's supposed to kill Brecken. And there's gonna be this full out war. It is gonna be between Markia and Brecken and Dayton and Serna and all them. And she's basically just like, you know, we don't have to kill him because his friends are going to kill him. And that's basically how the book ends. Like, they talk for a little bit and then she leaves and Fanklo just kind of thinks to himself about Brecken and this conclusion that she's made and that's basically the end of my book. Now, there's obviously more stuff I could talk about. Like, I did not talk about, like, the full 100% end. But that's basically, like, an overall summary of how everything went down. I'm overall satisfied with the end of my book. I thought it was great, even though it was very stressful to write those last few chapters because it was so hard to decide like what I wanted to happen and it was, it was stressful man but it was fun at the same time. But I think that's all I have to say for this last writing update video for Golden Deaths and just thank you all so much for watching my writing update videos for Golden Deaths. Thank you for being a part of this writing journey. I've had such a fun time writing Golden Deaths and I'm so excited to start planning book two. I don't know when that's gonna happen but one day next year it's going to because I want to write book two because like man I love this world so very much. I love these characters. They're so wonderful. Thank you again for watching my writing update videos and I am Courtney and I'll see y'all next time with a new video soon so I will see you then so bye! Yo!